He percent low. Hello world. Percent again. Hill with the number sign. WWO equals Del Taco World. Hello. Whoa. Hi. 11 year old something. Hello world. Hi, 11 year old world. Our lunch order. So, uh, hey everybody. Renegade 68 here. <laughs> Happy birthday. For some let's play, uh, Dang and Rampa 2. Correct difficulty. Um, I don't believe I have enough to buy anything more. That is the wrong thing. That would be a no. Uh, skills? Believe I have everything on. Right. Right. Yeah. There's nothing I don't have turned on. So, I guess we're gonna finish preparations, right? Hey, <laughs> yeah, it's funny because, um, so yeah, I guess I'll, okay, so ongoing theories right now. Chiaki and Monomi are, when they say they're like, their older brother and father back in case five, they were referring to, uh, uh, Alter Ego and then Chihiro as the father, which makes sense because Ultimate Programmer is one of the people that helped work on this. But that, they probably really mean Alter Ego, who's kind of like the extension of that, but, of Chihiro, but whatever. Um, what else? Okay, Nagito, when he wanted to kill everyone but the traitor, he was probably trying to, like, save everybody um, from the world and get them all out. I mean, the traitor is probably, like, Chiaki is likely an AI, so um, it probably didn't really matter for her. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, Nagi is going, Nagi and, and, and friends are part of the Future Foundation. Nagi is going against the uh, Future Foundation by trying to help the despair people, probably because he's super hope-filled, and it's like, even if they're despair, I can turn them to the light side of the force. Um, and I'm guessing all of us, except maybe Nagito, are the remnants of despair. All of us. Um, like, not just Mikan. And Hajime, if I had to guess, is the worst of them all. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet. Uh, I think I mentioned most of this stuff, but between recordings, I thought that, uh, it said somebody Junko picked up became like the new her like right hand man and then now she's gone he's like the new leader I think that's Hajime if I had to guess it would just be an interesting twist so that's probably why they do it um, which means Hajime might have been the one that programmed this Monokuma stuff maybe uh, and if that's true then Monokuma could be like you're my father and then he'd be like that's not true that's impossible and then he'd be like search your feelings you know it to be true and it's like ah Star Wars reference um, but yeah, so that's my guess right now. And then we're gonna get later in the trial and it's gonna be like, no, screw my past self that like despair. I like my present self that is actually my past self before I got the school life and then lost the memories. But anyways, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. I did say I wanted you guys to know the outside world. But this is still a questionable starting topic. Eh, not really. I mean, this part is probably the most uh, obvious thing because we're in a virtual world. Like, there's a lot of mysteries that still don't make sense, but uh, this is not one of them. Let me ask you this. What is this world's true identity? Uh, the virtual world. Huh? This world's true identity? What kind of question is that? This world's true identity. What? So nobody else knows? Is it just me? That'd be kind of weird, but okay. If I answer this, it'll be true. And that lie will become the truth. I don't know why he's so mad about this. I'd be happy. This might mean everyone's actually alive. Like, the fuck is your problem, dude? Do you want them all to be dead? Like, why is he so pissed about this? I'd be like, yeah, this is a fake world. Everyone could be alive. What's his deal? But... There's no I can leave it unanswered. Oh, we start right off the bat with a gambit. Okay. Uh. What? Virtual? Oh, shit.
Did it. That one's kind of fast, but it's pretty obvious. This world, this Jabberwock Island we're on. I'm surprised they didn't make us say virtual world, and they only had, and we only had to say virtual. It's a virtual world that was inspired by the actual Jabberwock Island. Hooray! I knew it. I'm the winner. Um. Oh yeah. Hey. Yeah. So. This isn't the real world, but if you want, you can call it the game world. <laughs> that would make sense with Chiaki, ultimate gamer. This is her game. Life's a game. <laughs> you get it? It's all just one big game. I get it, but yeah, the question is how big are the ramifications? That's the biggest question in my mind. Are they alive or not? Uh, are you friggin' serious? Yup. Did you guys not realize that with all the random floating virtual shit? Did you actually think you were just tripping balls or something? Don't fucking mess with me, you bastard. Did you have us all come here just to tell us bullshit? How would you not figure this out? Like, really? Are you telling me you guys saw this random floating shit and all the other shit and you're like, Oh, that's natural. Like, really? If this is a game, are my words being displayed in a text window right now? Yes. That's stupid. There's no way that's even possible. <laughs> I know, I know. The all in your minds trope makes you feel such cruel despair. <laughs> but it's not quite all in your mind, because it's all in everyone's minds, and it's more than that. But, um, oh, just playing this again makes me so glad. The text moves first. Okay, I st before this, I started playing the first bit of Zero Escape, and... It annoys the crap out of me because the text moves really slow and the voices are first and like that's so dumb. The text should come first. Anyways, I, I made a whole rant about that in that video, but uh, I'm just so glad. Props to this game. Like it's something I never even commented on before. I didn't think it deserves commenting. But you know what? Because another game fucked it up, I'm gonna comment on it. Props to you, game. Text comes first. But who cares? I revived all the suspense and mystery with just one line. <laughs> Not really. Because it's a game! Okay. Then we were forced to kill each other. Yeah. Because it's a game! <laughs> a lot of crazy shit happened. Because <laughs> it's a game! <laughs> <laughs> I love this. We're the only people here. Because it's a game! <laughs> Monokuma's nonsensical abilities. Because it's a game! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that this is pretty good. That's that was pretty good game. Now move on. Serious stuff, please. Don't fuck with me. That's not even possible. Okay, okay. Last one. I know you guys oh. are pissed, but you were having fun too, right? A world where anything goes only exists in games. Would have been perfect if you said it because it's a game one more time, but oh well. Um. You having fun? Yeah, it's especially even more fun now that no one's dead, right? Question mark, maybe? So, just force yourself to accept it. <laughs> this closed space, this game world, was the true stage of this killing school trip. Best trip ever! Just, just stop. There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna believe that. I don't get it. Why do you want this to be, be wrong? Why would you not be like, does that mean that Kamara is actually still alive or something? Why would you not be saying that? I'm sorry, like, this is stupid. You should be like, they could be alive. Like, that's how you should be acting. Like, really? Like, what is wrong with you people? Back in the day, people must have reacted the same way when they first saw the airplane take flight. But like wearing contact lenses, it'll stop feeling strange once you just get used to it. Please do not compare reality to contact lenses! I mean, if this really is a virtual world, what does that make us? The Avatar characters for your real-life counterparts. 
You better not say we're fictional characters. You are, but not quite. In in your world, you're you're just uh, like the avatar character for your real life person. The Future Foundation created this world using a program called the Neo World Program. Uh huh. It's programmed to place the user in a virtual world by synchronizing directly with the user's brain. Let's see if they did, did their uh, numbering right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four. Well, you can't see all of them, but it looks like there's sixteen there. Or no, there's not supposed to be sixteen. Is that, is that like, oh, there is six, I don't know. Whether there's 15 or 16, whatever. There's enough. Which means your body still exists in the real world. Okay. But right now, you're completely submerged in the game world, as if you're dreaming or something. Not quite the same thing, but yeah. Simply put, you're, um, you know... Not aviators, but... Avatars. You mean avatar, right? An existence created in the game is a copy of the user's real body. Which is what's going on here. But we're not just regular avatars, right? You're the avatars of your past selves. Because uh, your present selves... You would, you would know that something is wrong if you had your present selves for someone like Helka who's had a growth spurt. Your avatars were constructed by removing a specific thing from your bodies in the real world. Specific thing? Memories? What did you remove? Time? Are all our school memories. I see. What was removed from us was our school memories, right? Exactly. Are we going to finally get those back? That would be a bad thing, though, wouldn't it? Because we're all despair students, aren't we? Which means we're avatars that were created from our memories from before we entered the academy? Exactly. Actually, honestly, in hindsight, this makes perfect sense. I was even thinking this. Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned it. I don't remember. It's been a while. But uh, Gundam's hamsters, wouldn't they be dead by now? He said they only live like a thousand something days. That's like what three years ish, um, and it's apparently like from what they've said, it's been multiple years that has passed. If that's the case, I would think his hamsters are already dead. So I'm gonna guess that his hamsters were actually uh, AI, just like Shiaki, uh, which would make sense. At the time, I remember thinking that like they only live three ish years. Like, like, well, how many years did of their lives are lost? Wouldn't the hamsters be dead? I remember thinking that at the time, but I thought maybe it was just a plot hole. But no, apparently, they are probably just AI. So that's why we don't have our memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy? Yup. Don't talk like that! Like we're made from memories of the past. Like we're avatars. Like this is a game world. Why are you pissed about this? I don't get it! You should be thrilled! They could be alive still! Nikamaru could do it to you some more. How do we end up talking about sci-fi crap? I'll never believe it. I don't, okay, I don't, I've always thought Akane was the stupidest one here and the least interesting character, but I still don't get it. What, why? How many times do I have to tell you? It's not sci-fi, it's a game. Oh boy. The world is a virtual reality created by a computer program. We can't proceed if we don't accept it. Is believing him really the only thing we can do? Why do you want to not believe him? What the hell is wrong with you? I don't get it. All right. Oh, prediction. Um, shit, can I pause this somehow? Yeah, I can. Prediction. Um... There isn't a bunch of uh, crossed out people, uh, like there's a bunch of empty seats, but there's no crossed out photos. And this is a new trial ground, like this isn't the same as the one in the first game. Um, so I'm thinking, because this we know is a virtual reality now, and we know like the other students, at least for a bit, we had a glimpse of them coming back to us. I'm going to guess, some point in the trial, everybody else is going to come back. 
everybody, we're going to find out they're all still alive and they're going to have, like, make their way back into the virtual world and they're all going to be part of the trial. Uh, it would just make sense given the empty seats and the lack of a picture with an X on it. Um, and plus hope, right? The games are all about hope, so... Ah, they're not actually dead or something. Like, yeah, they, that might come be a thing where Monokuma's like, they've been dead all along. And we're like, no, they were li they're alive. I'm sure of it or something. Anyways. Is there any evidence that this is really a game world? You are the evidence. What does that mean? Your avatar is made of memories from before you entered the school. But your actual bodies in the real world are different. Though you have no memories of your time living your school life, your real bodies actually lived that life. Oh shit. I know what it is. Game world. What avatar? List of subjects, just to remind me of that. List of subjects. This has the Hyoko thing? Alright. I'm a human being with a real body! We're in a cares for that world. Uh, I don't want to believe something like that. Why don't you want to believe it? What's what fucking wrong with you? I don't get it. Is Why are you stupid? This is really a game world? You are the evidence. I don't get it. What's wrong with these what people? Does that mean? They should be happy. Your avatar is made of memories from before you entered the school. But your actual bodies in the real world are different. Though you have no memories of your time living your school life, your real body <laughs> Consent with Monokuma. I love it. That must be it. <laughs> Earlier in the teacher's lounge, I found this strange newspaper clipping. There was a picture of Hyoko, but she looked more like an adult than the Hyoko we knew. And she also looked more mature, not just, you know, grown up, but she looked less like a complete psycho bitch. L like an adult? What does that mean? It means she had a growth spurt in the years we spent at the school. Since we're avatars right now, we look exactly as we did before we entered the school. But in the real world, we've already lived out our school lives. Which means we've grown that much older, and among us, some age so much we didn't recognize them. Yeah, it kind of makes sense that... Another thing, in hindsight, this makes sense. In the first game, um, what, they lost one year of their life? Or was it two? I don't remember. But they didn't lose that much. One year or so. One year-ish. So, it's kind of understandable that they might be like, Oh, we're, we're... if no one had any growth spurts, it's kind of understandable they didn't realize they were, that anything changed. But in this game, it's been multiple years, so it'd be kind of harder to swallow that they... They didn't have any noticeable changes, but, uh, yeah. And you are saying that happened to Hyoko? Indeed. It appears Hyoko had a growth spurt during the school year. Looks like the other shorty graduated, Fuyuhiko. <laughs> I, I can't believe that. You're just making shit up. But if you guys only had memory loss, your body still should have grown during that time, right? So you should have felt your bodies go through growth spurts. But why didn't you guys recognize each other? Because we did not know each other before we lost our memories. If we all met after we lost our school memories, it's no different than meeting each other for the first time. Since we didn't know each other before that, we wouldn't have noticed how much we've all grown. You might have noticed how much you've grown yourself. Now hold on. If we didn't know each other before, and we wouldn't have known if we aged or not by looking at each other, then wouldn't he have noticed a difference? Shit. Um, he. Who's he? Let me think about this. Which one? Is, uh. Give me a sec. Is it. Are they talking about the imposter? Wouldn't he have noticed a difference? Fuyuhiko? Because of Peko? Or. It could be Fuyuhiko because he knows Paco. Or it could be Byakuya because he's not actually Byakuya. Or Gundam. Gundam! 
They might be talking about Gundam. Because of his hamsters, right? I'm gonna guess it's Gundam then. What? I can't select Gundam? Oh, Fui Hiko then. You're the only one! Hey, Fuyu Hiko. You knew Peko for a long time, right? Yeah. Now that you mention it, seems weird. No. Now that I think about it, it's definitely strange. Strange? What is? What, did you get a good look at her whole naked body? Well, actually kind of. <laughs> Our scroll memories. About how many days worth were taken away? As the creators of the Neo World program, only the future foundation would know the details, but around two or three years worth, I assume. That long? Makes sense. Um, Japanese high schools last three years. Because of how they split it up. Peko and I have seen each other almost every single day of our lives. If we lost two years worth of memories, we would have noticed that we were older than we remembered. So, does that mean our memory loss is another one of Monokuma's lies? No! Fuck off! Your refusal to accept your mutual memory loss is why you can't notice all the important parts. You've lost your memories. End of story. You guys are avatars who had their memories taken from them. This is a virtual world. And we're virtual avatars. Yes? Are you saying we just have to accept that? Yes! Why are you mad? I don't get it. You should be happy! I can feel my heartbeat, and I know what I smell like. So what do you call these things I'm feeling? Are you saying these are all lies? Kind of, yes! Just because it's a game doesn't mean everything was a lie. Have you heard that when you're hypnotized to believe you've been burned, a burn mark will really appear? Here we go. The big question. Are they really dead in real life? I'm guessing they're gonna. I guess Monokuma's gonna try and make us believe they are, and then we're gonna be like, no, hope! And then now you're just gonna be show up and be like, hope! And then everybody else will show up. So, I'm guessing. So, if our brains believe something is real, it's no different than if it actually happened? Here we go. Are they actually brain dead or not? Now that you mention it, I did hear about a phenomenon quite similar to that. In a distant country. There was a certain experiment carried out on one of their prisoners. The prisoner was blindfolded, strapped to a bed, and had small wounds applied to his toes to drain his blood. That prisoner was left alone in the experiment room as the sound of dripping blood echoed throughout the room. But in fact, his blood was not being drained. Oh? He was just forced to listen to the sound of dripping water, but he believed he was bleeding to death. The brain does shit like that. It's the placebo effect. If you think it's real, sometimes the brain starts making your body feel it to be real. However, in spite of that, the prisoner still died. As expected of Miss Sonia, your knowledge of state-sanctioned torture is amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's expected of Miss Sonia. Okay. If a lie is a believable lie, you're saying it might become the truth? And then it's like, are they actually dead? I mean, they, you should have gotten happy about this first. You should have been like, that means they're actually alive. And then Monokuma should have been like, nope. We're really just connected to machines and stuff. And our consciousness was uploaded into here. So we genuinely believe that this game world was real. Exactly. Then, the Jabberwock Island we've been living on. Of course, that's also a virtual world. Uh-huh. Get to the part where it's like, is everybody dead or alive? That sea, that beach, the buildings, everything. It's all a virtual world created by the Neo World program. And you'll be like, oh, they're dead! And then they'll come later and they'll be like, we're alive because hope! And because luck. Because Nagito believed that they would all be lucky and survive, right? He More than anything, he believed in ultimate luck. So more than anything, he believed they could overcome it. Overcome the trauma that they would sustain. 
be much easier if you told them that this was all a virtual world. Then it'd be a lot more likely we'd overcome it because the placebo effect wouldn't happen, but still. It's just like this space we're in right now. What we see before us is a virtual environment created by the program. It looks real because our brains think it's real. That's why in the end... 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 Continue your sentence! It was all just creation. So what are we seeing now? Are we gonna see outside the world or, or not yet? Probably not. That's the truth. Whoa, trippy. Nah, Monokuma234. The truth is... The truth is, it was all a lie. That is this world's truth. If everything's a lie, then what should we believe? Who cares if it's a lie? Hey, what are you getting at? I mean, if this is really a game world, everything that happened here took place inside the game, right? Yes. Uh, then that must mean... Yes. They're not actually dead, or are they? Because brain dead, because what Monokuma was talking about. That's right. The killings we were forced to commit were part of some silly game. Yeah, the question is, again, if the placebo effect made them real or not. Everyone who was killed should still be alive in the real world. You were supposed to say this first. Have you not been listening to Monokuma? He just said, when you believe it, it makes it real. So they could very well be dead in the real world. Oh yeah. Just because they died in the virtual world doesn't mean they died in real life. So, so you are saying everyone is still alive? This is the conclusion you should have came to earlier on. You should have been like, you shouldn't have been like, that's impossible, this is bullshit. You should have been like this from the start. And then Monokuma should have been like, oh, but believing it makes reveal real. Because now that he's already said that, you guys all just appear dumb to me. Haven't you realized the implication of those words? Yeah, that's it. Isn't that right, Monokuma? He already answered your question. <laughs> What's so funny? If a lie is a believable lie, it might become the truth. That's what you said earlier, Fuyuhiko. Exactly. Which is why the question is, is it? Probably not. Probably because hope, right? Don't tell me. You mean... The Neo World program isn't just any game. It's next-gen software containing the ultimate reality. Oh yeah, this is next-gen. It's like 23rd gen or something. And speaking of that reality, if a player's avatar experiences death... It's like over 9,000p. Their brains inside their actual bodies will stop functioning too. That's what you think. It's not. No, I, I'm, I'm calling it, it, it. No, they're gonna be like hope. We're all alive because hope. What? Then everyone who died. It's not like their bodies are completely dead. So I can't say it's a true death, but that's why it's actually crueler instead. All that's left of them are empty husks. Are you saying they will never awaken again? No, but they will because hope, right? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I don't get it. You already thought they were dead, and now you're being... Uh, I mean, I get it, but... But I don't think the reaction should have been this big. Well, nobody's gonna appreciate a game where you don't die when you're supposed to, right? Well, you'd think that, but hope. So no, you're wrong. What game? That's not what we risked our lives for. What did you risk your lives for, then? Ah, uh, if you want to be mad, please be mad at the Future Foundation. They're forcing you to play this game. Yeah, but you're the virus. Future Foundation? The people from the Future Foundation made us play this sick game? Everything was their doing? I'm sorry, am I the only one who got any of these pages? Like, these books? Did nobody else pick these up? 
Like, come on! You're way too many steps behind here. Then... Monomi and Shiaki were... They're the good guys! You got... Where's Monokuma? Did you only give me the books for some reason? Is it because I'm the right-hand man like I thought? I'm the actual super despair, so... I don't know. Maybe. They betrayed the Future Foundation to protect us. And then... They were taken out. No! Fuck! Guys! No! I see. So our real enemy is the Future Foundation! No, it's not! It's the remnants of despair and- Why is this even a thing? My evidence, like, I don't even need to contradict this. I should just be able to think it and they should realize what I'm thinking. Future Foundation is a real enemy? No! Everything we've seen contradicts that. And nike son is part of it. Big Brother Nike. Is that it? Is that really it? Oh! Nice. I like it. Um, could be Remnants of Despair. There's a few things it could be. Uh, plan, New World Program. I'm gonna go for Remnants of Despair for now. The Neo World Program was developed by the Future Foundation, right? The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? And the enemy is the Future Foundation! I mean, a group that would make a killing game. There's no way they're good guys! Then the Future Foundation is... truly an organization of evil! Who's our enemy? Is it the Future Foundation? No! I'm just... The Neo World Program was developed by... The Future Foundation! Hope Cultivation. I'm gonna check a couple of these things. Uh, let's see. New World Program. It allows the camp. Um. Um. Can write. The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? Then the enemy is the Future Foundation! I mean, a group that would make a killing game. There's no way they're good guy! Oh. Um. Then the Future Foundation is... Truly an organization of evil! I think I have it. The Neo World program was developed by the Future Foundation, right? The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? And the enemy is the Future Foundation. I mean, a group that would make a killing game. There we go. No, that's wrong. Originally, in the world created by the Neo World program, a concept like violence never existed. I kind of thought for a bit it might have been like remnants of despair, consent with Sonya's um, evil organization, but then when I saw the Akane remark, it, and I was like, no, no, it's probably this instead, so. Th then, why is there kill going on? Because of a virus! Jesus, I shouldn't even need to explain this shit! The virus that invaded this program is forcing us to kill each other. Could it be that virus is Monokuma? You're right. Until Monokuma appeared, this island was giving off a really peaceful vibe. We were all just supposed to collect hope shards. We would have completed everybody's free time events, and then we would have beaten the game, and there would have been no killings. But instead, there were. Yeah, it didn't get weird until Usami was remodeled as Monami. Monami. What sort of role did such a lost girl like her have in this world? You're about to ask me a question, aren't you? Um, I believe it's... Where is it? Observers? I'm gonna say observers. Hey, don't change the subject! That's also something we need to clear up. Uh, uh observer. I see! 
She was the observer of the Neo World program. Isn't that right? Exactly. That's right. She was an NPC that was assigned the role of observer. So there was no one controlling her. She was just an AI. NPC? What's that? Oh my gosh, play video games. You're seriously missing 90% of your life. <laughs> Rip Chiaki. Non-player character. A character that's not controlled by a person. It's different from avatars like us. Yeah, in this massive multiplayer online game. Or is it couch control online multiplayer game? Monami's existence was created entirely by the program. Just to monitor the 15 of you. Along with Chiaki. Please wait. Did you just say 15 people? Oh my gosh, did you miss case 5? Did that completely get wiped from your memory? Chiaki, this is a traitor, hello? You've forgotten how to count. We're 16 people in total. Oh my gosh, did you guys just... Are you this slow? What happened? I used to think you guys were actually decently smart. Maybe not Kazuichi, but... He was probably excluding the other observer. Or Akane. Anyways. Huh? Another observer? And Sonya can be a bit dense at times. But Free Hiko should be able to be smart. I don't know. Uh... Yeah, it's Chiaki. I see. It's Usami, the same person. Yes. Aside from the 15 participants, there were two observers in the Neo World program. Indeed. One of them was Monami, and the other one was Chiaki. Could it have been Chiaki? Duh. Yeah, you're right. You're saying Chiaki was an NPC? Yes. And most likely she's dead for reals. Although if hope is to the maximum, then she might have like a backup. And then we might still be able to have her alive at the end of the game. Alive, quote unquote. So you're saying she was just a program? And she didn't actually exist in real life? I know, right? She was the coolest character too. Th then she wasn't human? Nope. AI. She didn't exist at all. Not human. No, that's not it. Chiaki was really alive. Even if she was a virtual existence, she was really alive. Did you forget? She saved our lives, you know? Don't get all mushy towards a game character! Hey! I can get mushy towards a game character if I want. Or any media character for that matter. Some people are like, Oh, you like a character in a game? But no, because the idea is you like the personality traits they have that are very real personality traits that you could find in a real person. And sometimes you like the way they look, too. But the point is, if you like a character in the game, yeah, I don't know. I, I just said. Anyways. Shut up! Plus, she wasn't just a little game character. She was a lackey for the detestable world ender. No, Future Foundation world ender are not the same thing. If they are, then it means, like, ending the despair world. Like, because, no. That was meant to throw us off in the beginning. World ender. Now that you mention it, you referred to the Future Foundation by that name before. And it's all a bunch of baloney shit. That just means it was all a bluff, right? So we think that the Future Foundation was our enemy. And they're not. Do not joke about the world ending. It did end, but that's besides the point. We're gonna restart it. With our hope. No, there's no doubt that the Future Foundation is also world ender. At least for those of us here. Oh, okay. I guess if you want to look at it that way. For everyone who's here? Hey, what do you mean, those of us here? Why are you lumping us with you? Oh, actually, yeah, good point. Because we're all remnants of despair, right? That's what it's going to turn out to be. Um, Except for Nagito. I really can't see him being remnant of despair. I think he was put with us maybe because even though he's crazy, he has a bunch of hope. So they were trying to get his hope to infect us, maybe? I don't know. It's just a bluff. Monokuma, what exactly are you? He's a virus, but he's filled with despair, and so are we, at least if we had our memories, right? Why don't you just show us your true self already? That is his true self. He's a virus. Unlike in the first game, there is no person controlling him. What, you can't talk? It, it is cowardly of you to, to just ignore us. Before I reveal my true identity to you guys, 
It appears the main cast has finally arrived. I am very confused. What does this mean? What? Oh, maybe these other seats aren't for the other characters. It's for this main cast. But what is that? The characters from the first game? I don't get it. Main cast? Speaking of which, this guy is a member of World Ender. Oh? What is this? What? World Ender? Nike! <laughs> I can tell the difference. It's the the same voice, but there's definitely a difference now. At the beginning of the game, it, it was kind of... Like, it was kind of like there's a difference, but, like, Nagito is just a lower voice a bit, but it definitely developed to the point where they're definitely different voices. So it's everyone from the first game? Are they all going to show up? Including Byakusha? It's not the Future Foundation's fault. Rather, the fault lies with you guys.